Welcome students to another teaching and learning process on economics. I am Kolade Abiola, your instructor for today. You'll be listening to teaching on price mechanism. At the end of a lesson, the student will be able to define the following terms. A, price mechanism, B, equilibrium, C, equilibrium price, D, equilibrium quantity, E, equilibrium position or equilibrium points. Two, form a table of quantity demanded and quantity supply schedule. Three, to draw both quantity demanded and quantity supply on a diagram and to locate equilibrium, equilibrium price, equilibrium quantity. Four, to define excess supply and excess demand. Five, to illustrate what happens when price is higher and lower than equilibrium price. And finally, to calculate excess supply and excess demand. Price mechanism. Price mechanism refers to the system where the forces of demand and supply determine the prices of commodities and the changes therein. In a free market economy, prices are determined by the interaction of the forces of demand and supply. Equilibrium. Equilibrium exists where demand equals supply at a particular price. Equilibrium price. Equilibrium price is that price at which the quantity of goods demanded is equal to the quantity supplied. That is, it is the price that equates demand and supply. The formula is EP equals DD equals SS, where your EP is equilibrium price, DD demand, SS supply. Equilibrium quantity. Equilibrium quantity is that quantity at which the quantity of goods demanded is equal to the quantity supply. That is, it is the quantity that equates demand and supply. The formula EQ equal DD equal SS. EQ is equilibrium quantity, DD demand, SS supply. Equilibrium position or equilibrium point. It is the point where demand curve and supply curve intersects that is where they meet we want to form our demand and supply schedule table so we are going to have three columns price quantity demanded and quantity supply uh, prices will range from price six to price one so quantity demanded now at price six is hundred price five two hundred price four three hundred Price three, four hundred. Price two, five hundred. Price one, six hundred. Quantity supply. Price six, seven hundred. Price five, six hundred. Price four, five hundred. Price three, four hundred. Price two, three hundred. Price one, two hundred. From the table above, the equilibrium price is three naira. And the equilibrium quantity is 400 units. That is where demand and supply are equal. So we want to draw it now. We want to draw the above table. We are going to have a vertical and horizontal line. Our vertical is your price. And your horizontal is your quantity. At vertical, we have our price from price 6 to price 1. And at our horizontal, we have our quantity from 100 to 700. First of all, draw your demand. Then draw your supply. 
We are going for a short break. You will continue after the break. Welcome back to them from that short break. We shall continue our discussion from where we stopped. Before the break, we do demand and supply curve. In that diagram, we can see point E. That is where demand curve and supply curve intersects. That is where they meet. Equilibrium price will be price 3. Equilibrium quantity is 400. I hope that is clear. Excess supply is a situation in which quantity supply of a commodity is more than quantity demanded and price is above equilibrium. That is, quantity supply is greater than quantity demanded. Excess demand. This is a situation in which quantity demanded is more than quantity supply and the price is below its equilibrium price. We want to illustrate what happens when market price is higher and lower than equilibrium price. This shall be done through a diagram showing where demand and supply equates to when the market price is higher than equilibrium price. Three, when the market price is lower than equilibrium price. Students, we are going to draw the diagram together now. Pick your pencil and ruler together. I hope you are ready now. Draw your vertical and horizontal line. Also draw demand curve and supply curve equates them. From the diagram, locate your equilibrium. That is point E. And the price will be OPO and the quantity will be OQO. We want to show what happens when price is above equilibrium price. In the diagram drawn above, draw a line above the equilibrium price, which is OP2. So what happens when price is above the equilibrium price? One, quantity supply will increase because the supplier be willing to supply more due to higher price that will assure them of more profits. Two, quantity that will be demanded will decrease because consumer will not be ready to buy more as a result of higher prices. Three, as a result of higher prices above equilibrium price, this will create excess supply or surplus. In order to sell the surplus, the price will be reduced down to the equilibrium. 5. In the diagram above, suppliers are ready to supply OQ4 while consumers are willing to buy OQ1. Therefore, OQ2 to OQ4 are excess supply. Let us see what happens when the price is below the equilibrium. Also in the diagram above, draw a line below the equilibrium price, which is OP1. So what happens when the price is below the equilibrium price? One, quantity demanded is more than quantity supply. Two, excess demand situation arises. Three, price decreases, decreases, more buyers will flock the market. Four, it leads to competition among the buyers. Five, the competition among the buyer will lead to 
increase in prices and thus it will bring more supplier or sellers into the market to increase their supply. We shall continue after the break. Welcome back from that short break. We shall continue our discussion from where we stopped. We stopped at point five. So point six is the seller will increase the price until it gets to the equilibrium price. Seven, in the diagram above, when price is at OP1, supplier are ready to supply OQ2, while consumer are ready to buy OQ3. Therefore, OQ3 to OQ4 are the excess demand. How to calculate excess demand and excess supply? Excess supply is supply minus demand. Excess demand is demand minus supply. We are going to use a table for that. So we have a column of price per tuba of yam, quantity demanded, quantity supply. Prices are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Quantity demanded are 1,800, 600, 400, 200, 100. Quantity supply are 200, 400, 600, 800, 1,000, 1,500. Questions now. At what price and quantity does market reach equilibrium? Give reasons. Two, at what price does the market exhibit excess demand? State the unit. Three, at what price does the market exhibit excess supply? State the unit. At what price will supplier be willing to sell most? What is the quantity to be sold at that price? Solution to question one. At price six, because the quantity supply is equal to the quantity demanded and the quantity is 600 tubas of yam. Two, excess demand are at prices two and four. Quantity are 1,000 units, 800 units. Excess demand is demand minus supply. At price two, it will be 1,000 minus 200, that is 800 units at price 4, 800 minus 400, that will be 400 units. Excess supply will be at prices 8, 10, 12. Quantities are 800, 1,000, 1,500. Excess supply is supply minus demand at price 8. 800 minus 400, 400 units. 10, 1,000 minus 200, 800 units. At 12, 1,500 minus 100 units, that is 1,400 units. And final answer to the final question there is at price. At price 12, the quantity is 1, 1,500 tubas of yam. Let's take a practice question that you can do at home. The market for apple is represented by the following demand and supply function. QD, 30 minus P. QS, 15 plus 2P. A, PPA, demand and supply schedule. For the markets given the prices two four and seven determine the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity of the apple in the market if the price of apple is fixed at three naira what will be the excess demand or excess supply c suppose the demand function change to qd equals to four T minus P using the prices A above, prepare the new demand schedule. 
Does it represent increase or decrease? Explain your answer in two above. So use that question that I've given you, practice it at home. What are our references? Internet, past question, and economics textbook. Remain blessed. God bless you.